charming medieval towns, picturesque drives, delicious foods, mountains, beaches, and so much more, Tuscany is one of the most beautiful regions in Italy. Today we, we kind of focus in on the non-touristic portions of Tuscany. This is what it's all about in Italy. And wait till you see the beautiful agroturismo we're staying at. Maravilloso, veramente maravilloso. Here we are in Pienza. Lots of little side streets like this. Via dell'amore! And this is where the beautiful view is going to be. Behold this amazing valley, Valle del Orcia. Literally, you walk around and everywhere you turn, there's a cute shop. You can spend hours just going to all the places and peaches, the pasta that is very typical of the Valle de Orcia, where we are in Toscana. They have this competition here with pecorino wheels, where <laughs> they roll pecorino wheels and see who can roll them further. And what do you think they win? Yes, a pecorino cheese. <laughs> the shop I just walked into. Truly a city of art. As many of you know, one of my favorite things in the world is to just walk up and down the side street. You just never know what you're going to find. The Cantuccia of Toscana. It's crunchy, and this one has hazelnut. Yum. I love these in Sicily too. I'm not much of a sweet person, so. Mm. When you walk into the shop, it is literally intoxicating. Probably about 20 types of pecorino. We got conservatives, black pepper. Use this. Just breathtaking. Now, this is something interesting about these pine trees. Apparently, there's a lot of them in the cemeteries here in Tuscany because of the straight up tree your soul goes up into heaven faster. How's that for a local legend? But really the reason I stopped here is because look. There's evidence that people first inhabited this area 900 before Christ. It was the Etruscans who were here. Then, of course, the Romans, and it was about 63 before Christ that two brothers came here. They were fleeing Rome. They came here and built a couple of towers, and they started developing this town. And then about a hundred years later, this became officially San Gimignano, a great walking town. Lots of watchtowers all over the place, just like in Sicily. You want to see all the invaders coming. And it shows a little bit of power, right? You tell everyone that you are here to stay. Uh, the specialty of the area. Yeah, I'm not going to
All right, so there's a gelateria right here, Dondoli. Gelateria world champion, line out the window. And turn around and this place over here says they have the best gelato. I think I'm gonna try some. And here is Piazza Duomo and I think I see Dante. Here is Dante Alighieri, who is partially responsible for us speaking Italian here in Italy. He was around, born around the 1200s, mid-1200s. And of course, he is the author of the famous Divine Comedy. And here we are in the Piazza Duomo. That's great. Come here to the Piazza Duomo and all these guys are working right here, making products from wood. You know, they're lo local products, all bio. Just everywhere you look, very picturesque, very medieval. He is driving us around, so reliable, so cool. Let's see some of the local meats. Cinghiale, the famous cinghiale. When here in Tuscany, you have to try that. Cantuccini, eh, locale, vero? Sì, 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 cantuccini. The mandorla and vino licoroso. There's the Chianti over there. Lots of specialty shops selling all types of things. I love these local artisans. Here they have toys. The Pusicuro, it's a little target. Asagi, Asagi. He said this is a specialty here. <laughs> Come? Forza buono. It's good. Well, there you go. So apparently it's difficult to find prosciutto and some lami of cinghiale, but this place has it. Ceramica Toscana. Of course, we have some of the great ceramics, but here you go. Here's a little peek into a store doing Tuscan art and Tuscan ceramics. Lots of leather shops from this area. It's about 90 degrees. Pretty warm. It's almost warmer here today than and I left at 6 o'clock this morning in Sicily. Here's one of the many entrances to the city. Igena is the name of this gate. Kind of reminds me of Erice a little bit. Pizza fritta, it's a typical food here in Tuscany. Basically, it's like a fried dough. It's hot, hot, hot. I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit. And I'm having lecce, which is one of the local wines. Ravioli con ricotta, sage, oh, sage. and puro. Ooh, spinaci. They even have hamburger here and tons of snacks and grilled chicken and this is, good too. Have you taken? And this is fungi elena and maurizio these are the owners of this fabulous place and look at her outfit she looks gorgeous and she's working her little butt off <laughs> this is the living room outside my room which is right there and look at this view And check out this breakfast spread. 
And here we are in this beautiful rustic room. There's the gluten-free. I love this room. Ceramics and just has such a great feel to it. And then you walk out here. You come over here, and here is the reception room. There's Valentina, buongiorno. And I just love these little mm -hmm. things Wednesday, that they have all over the place. The decorations are so creative. So I'm just going to take you around a little bit over here. This is where she makes the coffee. And then look at that. Tarifario. Como se dice? Casa de the Casa de Toleranza. This is, okay, in the 1920s, this was where the prostitutes were. Yeah, semplice is one, one lira. Lira, vero? Mm -hmm. One lira, 50, double to 50. 15 minutes is 310, half an hour, five, and 720 lira. <laughs> <laughs> and she said it really did exist. But I just love being one of the first to get up. I'm having my coffee right there in this beautiful courtyard. Look at this, you can come into this cave and enjoy a jacuzzi. And then here's the sauna. The Toscani people are so nice and that is certainly my experience for sure. E tu agroturismo, bellissimo, da quanti anni sta facendo? Sono 25 anni. 25 years she's been having yeah. this agroturismo. Yeah. Sì. E una da tua famiglia? Da mia famiglia, sì, sì. I miei nonni, i miei bisnonni. Wow, her great grandmother had this place. Lavoravano la terra come poveri schiavi, questa terra. Worked with the eh, earth, with the land. Sotto un padrone molto severo. E il mio padre ha comprato questo, questo casale tantissimi anni fa e noi abbiamo, fatto, this uh, land. abbiamo creato questa struttura. È bellissimo, grazie. You have to see this bathroom. I know, I'm showing you a bathroom. Look how cute it is. Everywhere you look is something interesting to see, but this is what I want to show you. I love this picture. In the morning, one of the things I like to do is go for a quick walk and look at this path I found right next to the agroturismo with this view. About a two-minute walk from the property are these little animals. Look how cute they are. Look at the baby one. They're Tibetan kapiri goats. and Valley di Orcia and we're in the province of Siena and what really struck me as we were driving up there in those little areas can you see down there are all the olive farms lots and lots of vineyards lots of pine trees this is really one of the most picturesque drives here in Tuscany the Castello di Montalcino talk about medieval streets Montalcino. Montalcino. This is the school Mattia, our driver, went to in Montalcino in this beautiful town. Look at this. This is the corridoio. Corridoio. People from the school pass along there. Look at that. These remind me of some towns in Sicily, right? <laughs> Hilly, cobblestone, and a. Eh, siamo uh, nella strada di Chianciano. Bagno Vignoni, old fashioned thermal experience. And here are the magical thermal baths of Bagno Vignoni. Of course, there's lots of good chemicals like bicarbonate, 
sulfate, alkaline, calcium carbonate, iron, and zinc. And yes, I'm reading this from the list. Those are all good healthy things for your body. So you can do half a day or a full day. And listen to this little tidbit. Popeyes and Charlemagne chose Bagno Vignoni as a retreat to find some peace and quiet. And how can you not with this setting? And then once you're done with your bath, get a little bit of a lunch and walk along here. It's a very small and quaint town. That's beautiful. Ancient Roman pool. Here's the Madonna inside an ancient structure. Very lush, very green, not a lot of people. Perfect. Now we're in San Quirico. Another quaint little small Tuscan town. Well, this is a pretty impressive public garden. The San Quirico de Orchia. And look at all the statues over there. Then you can go up the stairs. Very interesting statues. And beautifully manicured, quite an extensive public garden. Questo è il Domo. So apparently this is the place where the gladiator, one of the scenes of the gladiator was shot. That all? The entire drive the past few days has been like this. My favorite flowers. Some flowers and they are all over the place here in Tuscany. I've shown you Mattia before. He's our driver and he's been explaining everything. He knows so much about this area. Mattia, tuo cognome è difficile per me. Mattia Bartolome. It's beautiful. And it turns out his family not only has olive trees, but they also have a vineyard and they make wine. E per quanto tempo sta facendo questa? And he, by the way, helps out with the family business. È un'azienda che è nata nel 2015 e si chiama 8 ettari. And started in 2015 in zona... In zona Montenero d'Orcia, in comune di Castel del Piano. E la provincia di... Grosseto. Grosseto, in Tuscany. E tu piace fare questo lavoro? Sì, questo lavoro è bellissimo e mi, mi manda tanta passione. He, has a, he loves doing this because he gets a, a lot of passion. Questo è San Giovese? È buono? He was telling me that some days he works 19 hours. Raccolta de olive quanto è? When is the picking uh, of the olives? La raccolta delle olive è circa ottobre novembre e la raccolta invece dell'uva è a metà settembre Mm, fin, fine settembre circa. The grapes are in September, the olives are in October. E tu quale preferisci? Ma mi piace molto tutte e due le raccolte. Mm, forse più quella dell'uva. Perché? Perché può, può assaggiare. You said the grapes sì, and I said because you, you can try them. Posso assaggiare l'uva e poi... Mm, you can taste the grapes and then... Poi, Posso, ho più prospettiva per il vino, più passione per il vino, diciamo ah, che per l'olio. Ah, he has a passion eh, for wine. Eh, okay, so I asked him what he wants to do for work. He wants to go into the military, military or polizia, vero? Or businessman? Sì, yes. Qua? <laughs> businessman, police, military? Eh, I say he should be a businessman. Look at him. Now eh, we're going to go a tasting with him. Let's see how he does. Hmm? Probabilmente... Riguardante il vino, businessman, o altrimenti anche in polizia mi piacerebbe molto. So this is what the inside looks like. And then if you want to go outside, check this out.
imagine coming here with us in September and tasting some wines overlooking this beautiful property. Some serious business wine. Here I am. He's 20 years old, by the way. Look at all the wine they're producing. Che significa di etteri? Otto ettari, vabbè, è il nome dell'azienda e ettari è, come si dice, una misura... Ah, de... hectares! Sì. Hectares. Sì. Ma è perché otto? Perché appunto abbiamo sei ettari di vigneto e due di, di oliveto. Ah. Perché ci sta partendo un ordine per la Germania, quindi... Oh, well, this is all going to Germany. He does ship all over. This is the lighter red. Very nice. Even good with a summer drink. Good. Really light. Primo, che fai primo? Smell the wine. E poi? And uh, rotating uh, the glass. And uh, smell the wine. Ancora. Sì. Mm -hmm. E poi bevi e cin cin. E poi devi aspettare per avere. And here's the second one, si chiama. E Montecucco Sangiovese di OCG. Yeah. Wow. Yes, e... This one has a little bit of no, che... berries, uh, fruits from the forest, frutta di bosco. Berry, strawberry, strawberries, yeah. we'll This is definitely a fruity one. Take a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, he goes to the gym. Posso vedere? Oh, look at this. Yeah. <laughs> He's turning red. Okay, look at it, this. That's him. I guess he exercises. Only in Tuscany, come to Tuscany with us. You'll meet Mattia. Yes. You know, every region of Italy, there's 20 regions, offers something magical. Like you know how much I love Sicily. Sicily has so much to offer. But Tuscany is a nice little change. And here's what we're thinking. Perhaps next year, do a few days up in Tuscany. Then why not head down here to Sicily? We'll do a group tour like that. What do you guys think? I think we ought to do a grand tour, like one of the ones we have, you know, like 10 days someplace and 8 days someplace or else. 7 and 7, a something like A grand tour. Like this way you could see Tuscany and you could see Sicily. It's a win-win. It's a win-win. That's what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Alfred was looking for a mix for his vodka. Good summer mix. And you guys have left great comments about what he should do. And guess what? We found some pomegranate. So at night, Alfred has his vodka, pomegranate, and lime. Yes, there's lime in Sicily. You think that's unusual? Yes, it is, because a few years ago, we didn't get lime. It's Honestly, important. I mean, I used to drink in the States, I drink vodka and cranberry. But I was complaining last week we had no cranberry. Can't find it. But people gave me some great ideas, one of which was uh, the pomegranate. And in a couple of months, less than a couple of months, the fresh ones will be harvested here. So guess what? I want to be good to go. Thank you for the tip on pomegranate. We love hearing from you guys. It's great. It's, I want to give a shout out to my friends in Lawrence, Massachusetts, all the guys from the St. Alfio Society who are getting ready to uh, do and celebrate the 100th anniversary Incredible. of the Feast of the Three Saints in Lawrence, Massachusetts. Alfio, Philadelphia, and Chirino. Uh, over the Labor Day weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And these guys have given their heart and soul and their wives and girlfriends and kids and everybody else. It's a hard work. And there'll be tens of thousands of people there. If you ever want to see what a good old-time festival is all about and celebrating the lives of the three saints who, who died for their Christian belief, go to the Feast of the Three Saints, Lawrence, Massachusetts, Labor Day weekend. And ching ching to your grandfather who was the founder. One of the founders. One of the founders of the... Festival, yeah. festival in Lawrence, Massachusetts. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here, being part of the community. What do you guys think of the Tuscany? We're going to have a tour there in September, so hopefully we'll have much more videos and things from Tuscany. Until then, we'll see you here from Sicilia. Ciao. Serenity. Ciao.